Hello guys, in this video, let's continue our discussion about device twin. So, we will discuss device twin sections and then we will discuss C2D versus device twin that is cloud to device communication versus device twin and D2C that is device to cloud communication versus device twin and how we should select correct messaging method depending on our requirement. So basically device twin it has four sections that is device info, tags, desired properties and reported properties. Now before we discuss anything further let's open our device twin. So we are back in Azure portal and let's open our IoT hub devices. Let's open our IoT device and here we can see device twin. Let's click on that. So again guys if you see this is our device twin and first thing this is basic information about device twin that is device id its status right and if you see its connection state is disconnected and if i go down i can see this something called properties and under properties i have this desired and reported properties okay and now let's go back to our presentation again so we have this device info which, which has device id status connection state then we have these tags so for example under tags we can set the address or the city where that iot device has been installed then there is this desired properties and reported properties now let's try to understand it with this diagram so this is our device app that is it's our iot device and this is our backend that is this is azure iot hub so first we have device info right so here there will be device info like device id connection state status etc then we have these tags okay and if you see tags it can be said by the backend and you can see under device app that is under iot device this is empty that means value for tags it can be set by our backend application only in fact iot device is not even aware about the tags okay so if i go to previous slide so tags they are set by the backend that is iot up and iot device is not even aware about the tags now next is something called desired properties okay and if you see under desired properties backend can write desired property it can read desired property right but the device app that is iot device it can only read the desired property okay so if you see desired property for example iot app it can say it can set desired property as send frequency is equal to 30 minutes that means it expects iot device to send telemetry every 30 minutes so again it is set by backend that is iot app and device can only read it device ca cannot set it okay then we have this reported properties so if you see backend it can just read it but device app that is iot device it can read and write that means iot device can add property under reported properties section so again say for example iot app it has asked for a property that is said frequency is equal to 30 minutes so report under reported property device can say same frequency is equal to 30 minutes and status is equal to success that means whatever desired property you had requested that has been successfully set so again reported properties it is set by the device iot hub can only read it iot hub cannot set it okay now using reported properties and desired properties iot hub and iot devices they communicate with each other that is it is a two-way communication but then if you remember we discussed about d2c and c2d as well in our earlier videos so you may have question that we can use d2c to send messages from device to cloud but we can also use device twin for the same and we can use c2d that is to send messages from cloud to device but again we can use device twin for the same 
then how we should select correct messaging method based on our requirement and now let's discuss it so first d2c versus device twin so use d2c to send telemetry again telemetry means value measured by the sensor of iot device but use device twin to set available capability for example whether device is connected using cellular network or wi-fi network then whether device state is connected or disconnected so i think guys these ex examples are self-explanatory so for a typical scenario that is sending usual messages from device to cloud that is sending telemetry that is sending frequent messages we should use d2c as throughput is better than device twin so guys for example if we consider iot fire panel devices so say a fire is detected on a particular floor of a building so in that case we should use d2c only of course we can use device twin but then this is a normal telemetry messages and the chances are there that frequency of sending such, such messages is high so in this case we should use d2c but if you see uh, whether it's a cellular network or wi-fi or whether device is connected or disconnected these are not normal telemetry messages and guys this is a link which clearly states that when we should use which messaging method and of course i will share this link in the description of this video as well and now let's discuss about c2d versus device twin so use c2d to send notifications to the device again these are normal notifications or messages but use device twin for long running command so for example backend that is azure iot hub asks device to update its from firmware so of course this is a long running process and in that case we can use device twin so basically when the firmware is getting updated device will will keep on updating iot hub about the status so for example it will say status initiated then it will update status in progress then it will update with status completed so again you can see it's a long running process and as and when there is an update device keeps updating azure hub about the progress okay and then we can use device twin to store metadata of device for for example location and another difference is in c2d message is delivered to the device directly but in device twin property values are preserved that is the changes which we make through property values they are preserved in device twin and device can read it using iot hub query language from that device twin json okay and again this is the microsoft's official link which clearly states when we should use c2d and when we should use device twin and again i will share this link in the description of this video